I love this. I love this. This is, I mean, lunchtime, you can't beat it. All right, if you love chicken, you're going to love the way that we're preparing it today because Keisha Cave is back here. She's the founder of My City Kitchen, and she's a great friend of uh, Connecticut Style, and you're going to be sharing your uh, recipe for pulled chicken. We've yes. heard of pulled pork, pulled yes. chicken. That's great. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about how you came up with pulled chicken. Was this something that uh, is new and it's happening all over the country, more popular? Well, most people like the pulled pork, but some people have food allergies to pork, so pulled, pulled chicken, chicken is a great alternative, mm -hmm. and it was a recipe that I found, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be great to use today. All right, terrific. Now, you, the last time you were on, you were talking a little bit about this, uh, um, this culinary extravaganza. Yes. What is a culinary extravaganza? Well, our culinary extravaganza was our first fundraiser that My City Kitchen held um, on Saturday, March 31st at the Mark Twain House, and it was a really great um, event we had with Dr. David Katz, Jocelyn Momenta, and also our Council General from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Nan Ramgulam, attended the event and we raised $14,800 for our program and 100% of the proceeds went into the program. Just real quick, for people that haven't seen you on here, I mean, you, you and I go way back with the show. Yes. Um, like, just a few seconds, what is the whole philosophy behind My City Kitchen? Um, My City Kitchen, basically, it is teaching kids how to cook healthy, prepare healthy foods, and to teach them to be independent in the kitchen. And if there's a, if there's a, a young man or girl out there who maybe can't find their way, and they like to hang around the kitchen at the house a lot, you should definitely go get involved with My City Kitchen. All right, exactly. am I going to help you make this here today? Yeah. Okay, Switch. Well, let's do it. You want I'm me over here? Yep. Okay. So you're going to cook. So what we have here, basically, we have um, organic ketchup. Yep. We have cumin, okay. allspice, cider vinegar, um, chili pepper, brown sugar, and dry mustard. And we have rotisserie chicken. So this is really easy. You're going to just dump everything in here. Me? Yes, All go right, right ahead. And I'm dumping it in here? Yes, sir. Okay, good. I can do that. I'm very good at dumping. All right. And, and by the time oh. you're doing... Oh, never mind. I got time. it. Almost spilt it. You don't want to get fired now, Steve. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Uh, okay, so in the meantime, you're doing that. I'm going to dice up some onions, and we're going to make this really great sauce. Okay. And you're going to add everything. Okay? I got I'm putting in. I'm putting in all this stuff, too? No. 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 That's for the <laughs> lemonade. So mix uh, all that up. You have two cups of chicken going good, into there. Good, 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 good. Okay, oh. you're going to mix that up. You know, at, at my house, everything mm -hmm. is with, with chicken. I am a nut for chicken. And uh, so my... I'm add, adding... I've always, there's so many, I never get bored with it, but whenever I can mix it with a little sauce, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll, I'll make, uh, just I'll put a whole chicken in with sauce. And, um, and this is really it. easy, and if you have, you know, leftover um, beef or anything, add it in there. You don't have to just use um, chicken, like we said, you know, this normally used with pulled pork, pork okay. but you can definitely use chicken with this. Right. So you're going to cook this down, you're going to turn the heat up a little bit. I'm going to cook it for about three minutes. Three minutes? That's, That's all it is? That's all, three minutes? because everything is already prepared. So you have the, the, the ketchup and everything going on in here. You're going to bring this to a nice um, heat. Yeah, and right. then what you're going to do now is uh, take a, a bun. Yeah. Okay, let me move the knife. I don't want you to cut just yourself. Just be patient. Be pa people at home, that, that, that <laughs> right there, that lady in Farmington, she's just, we'll, we'll get it to you in a minute. Okay. I understand you're doing adult classes now, too. That's very cool. What's that all about? Yes, um, starting in May, we're going to start doing adult classes and adult educational classes. A lot of the parents from our children, um, they want to learn how to cook as well. So we thought, you know, for the summer, kids are out, parents are going to have a little bit more time. Yeah. We can start some classes with that. And we're also going to be doing a cooking demonstration at the Meriden Library the day before Mother's Day. I think it's um, May 12th. We'll be going to do a, a demonstration for mothers. Now, where is my city kitchen? It's located on Pratt Street in Meriden, 384 Pratt Street, and you can find out information on our website as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. And, of course, you can always find out more stuff about, uh, about my city kitchen and all of our guests here on Connecticut Style when you just uh, go to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the Connecticut Style. You can watch this over and over and start licking your fingers. And if you'd like free nutritional demos and cooking demos, it's all oh, going to be taking place at the Meriden Public Library, uh, Mother's Day, May 12th. Or is it the day before Mother's Day or actually Mother's Day? No, the day before Mother's Day, Saturday, May 12th. Saturday, May 12th. Yes. All right.